Hello everyone, this is Scorpion from How to Do, and this is the fourth part on how to make GTA for Android in Unity. And in the previous videos, we were able to make uh, this kind of a setup for the third person character in the Android. So we, we have a joystick over here, and we also can control the camera using this left side or right side of the, the, the game. Alright, so, so this in this video, we will be able to add a running system. So yeah, let's get started. So if you haven't seen my previous videos then you should because if you don't have if you haven't seen them then you will not be able to uh, understand what's happening over here so yeah so now what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and get inside of this joystick canvas setup and then what you have to do is you have to go to how to do uh, touch system which we downloaded in the previous videos and if, if you haven't seen the previous videos then you should uh, the link to that is in the description box below all right so yeah and then what you have to do is you have to go to prefabs and in there uh, we will see uh, oops yeah prefabs so which prefab go to the first folder which says how to do touch system and then you have to go to the second folder which says touch, how to do touch system again <laughs> and in touch controls and then you have to go to prefabs and there you will find a button all right or also you can go and say uh, button and search for it and there we go we can see a button over here we have to drag and drop this button inside the genre uh, joystick canvas setup and if we hit F and if we come in here you can see there is a button over here and there's also a button over here all right so this will be our jump uh, or run button or run and we also have to uh, come in here all right come in here and say run instead of jump now this uh, right over here is actually the name of the controls all right so input so this is the name of the input so we also have to set up the input in the input uh, input uh, window of the unity so let's just go ahead and do that um, go to edit where is it edit project settings input and make sure you remember this so there's no spelling mistake like uppercase and lowercase and you have to come in here and increase this number with one in my case it's 20 so let's just set it to 21 and there you will see when we press enter there's a new uh, button popped out over here and we will call this one button uh, or sorry run which we named the previous one and I think we don't have to do anything let's I don't know Key and mouse button I think we don't have to do anything let's see okay you have to say joystick button C so let's just say positive button to joystick number three joystick button three and gravity should be thousand all right make sure you do that and the dead should be point zero zero one and sensitivity should be thousand there we go and make sure it's not jo joystick axis it's the key and mouse button and the axis it doesn't matter let's just set it to x axis and get motion from all joysticks so make sure you do that all right and make sure this right over here is exactly the one over here all right so project settings input and there we go our run button is set up so name is run and the positive button is joystick button 3 which is this one over here and then the gravity dead sensitivity sorry don't snap sensitivity a thousand key and mouse and all that stuff and yeah that is it okay so now we can come in here and do something okay so go to your player setup and go to player and say edit so this was what we made in the previous videos that helped us make our character move now we want our character to run okie dokie so we have to just say how to do touch system and we can see there's a get button down so let's just go ahead and double click get button down get button down actually means when we hold a button in this case it's the the this button over here and make sure the name is the right one which is run with big r in my case it can be anything in your case and send event a new event and we want us our character to run of course and we're gonna run 
and uh, self add transition run okay self run I don't know what it means so add transition run oops two times and let's just control click over here to make a new state or you can also say right click and add a state but I just say control click so add a state and then we have to just make the transition from a run to this second state all right and let's just see if it's working or not so let's just hit play and there we go as you can see we are inside of this state right now and if we press this button we go in this state cool and now what we have to do is we have to say get button up which means if we release the button so which is the same button as a run and we're gonna send event new event and idle so go to the idle state and I don't know if that is the correct spelling <laughs> but it doesn't matter so play so if we hold the button we go to state 2 and if you release the button it comes to state 1 so as you can see if as you can hear if if you can hear yeah cool so yeah uh, now we have to do something that will make our character move so of course we need all of this I guess so let's just copy this copy all of these so that our character can move at least uh, oops paste action and there we go and yeah okay so now we should be able to move and you will also know that if we press uh, we can also move with the joystick of course but we can also move with the WASD right now because I am in the unity version so uh, this is good for testing because we cannot click this and this at the same time right so I'm gonna use WASD instead of this joystick so as you can see our character can move even if it is in the uh, in the you know the run run uh, state let's just make sure the names are good idle and I don't know <laughs> what the spelling of idle is I really don't know but I think it's okay I think all right doesn't matter and now what we need to do is we have to just change the animation from walk to run yeah so how we do that is let's just close that and come into the animator and this was the animator which we left in the previous video so that we can uh, move from idle to walk and from walk to idle now of course we want ourselves to make transition from walk to run and from run to walk of course we don't need to make transition from run to idle because we can come to idle from this path from here and there all right and uh, in the previous videos i told you to you know uncheck this has exit time so we have have to do the same thing over here too has exit time unchecked on the both transitions or all transitions okay and now we have to have some kind of a condition as we made a condition for this one which is magnitude now in this case we have to add a bool which is a true and false and we'll call this bool run so it is either true like here or false so zero or one or one or zero <laughs> so yeah so when this is true we are gonna run and if this is false we're gonna walk cool simple as that let's just go ahead and add a transition uh, or condition and say run if run is true we're gonna run and if run is false run is false we're gonna come back to the walk cool I think it's cool I hope it's cool okay so now if I walk with WASD and check mark this one so as you can see <laughs> he is running there we go because this is checked and if you uncheck this he starts to walk cool yeah there we go checked and bam he's running tum 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 <laughs> of course this is a really foolish kind of a thing a foolish kind of a animation <laughs> but of course it's cool <laughs> okay cool 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 let's just come back to the player and say edit and in this case we don't have to set the animator float which is magnitude we have to set animator bool so we have to just get rid of this set animator and get animator float instead we're gonna double click over here or you can also click the action browser and we have to say animator animator sorry bool so animator bool we're gonna set the animator float uh, bool and also get the animator bool all right 
the animator bool which we got which we are gonna get is the run which is over here so make sure the spellings are correct i'm saying again and again because this is not gonna give errors over here and the game is not gonna work and that is really frustrating okay so get animator bool which is this one every frame and we're gonna store this bool inside of a new variable called animator -ter bool all right or we can also set it to run but or we can set it to run run there we go and i'm gonna come into variables and uh there's no variable uh, animator bool and i'm gonna delete that one so that we have animator magnitude and magnitude run cool and we're gonna set the game object the user owner the set the bool which is run equal to this run okay of course it's confusing but you have to just do that <laughs> uh, i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what is happening over here but give me just a second to check it if it's working or not give me just a second and i'm gonna come in here and i'm gonna use wasd instead of this joystick okay so it's coming in here but it's not doing anything okay of course it's not gonna work <laughs> i'm really sorry okay now what we need to do is let me just go ahead and think straight we want to know if the if we are in run state or not all right and we're gonna do that by set bool set bool value all right just do that and the bool value which we want to set is run which is the normal run all right which is which is the normal run okay not animator run but just a variable called run in the fsm and we're gonna set it to true like that and every frame i don't know no no every frame so bool run which is true if we are in the run state and we're gonna copy this thing and paste it in here and in uh, it will be false if we are in idle so of course this run will be false when we are in idle and when we go to run this run is gonna become true all right and then we're gonna set this value equal to uh, set animator bool we're gonna set the animator bool which is run r u n equal to the value of the run over here this one so which means if we are and of course we have to do the same thing control c control v run every frame i don't know uh, okay so if we are in the idle state this run is gonna false become false all right so this run will also which is this run <laughs> this run will also become false because this run is false <laughs> and when we come in here this run will be true so this run will also be true cool okay and it should work i'm gonna go ahead and make it smaller i'm gonna again use wasd to move and there we go we are running and when we release it we're gonna walk tom 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 run walk run walk all right cool so yeah that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed my video if you want to see the previous videos then go ahead and make sure you uh, click the link in the description box below to uh, to see my previous videos i have made a playlist uh, to you know gather all of the gta tutorials for android and that's it hope you guys enjoyed and in the next video i will try to add uh jump system i think i will add a jump system so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video till then be cool <laughs>